Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. And God has helped us and he, he, he will set his people free. Oh. Good morning, family and friends. I remember years back my first international trip was to Mexico City for an inter-Trinitarian gathering. And I had to fly through France. And I had almost 12 hours layover time. And when I reached Mexico City, one of the officers at the immigration brought my, uh, brought my passport. And I had to wait there more than four hours. I did not speak Spanish or French. I did not know even how to make a phone call because all the instructions were in Spanish. So I was really frustrated. And I could easily relate to people, especially people who, you know, who are stuttering or people who are mute, how much frustrations they go through when they cannot express what is in their hearts. Similarly, we see Zachariah. Almost nine months, he was mute. What a frustration he went through, yeah? He was a faithful priest. And people looked at him with, uh, you know, sarcastically. Oh, he went through a punishment. You know, God is punishing him. Nine months of, you know, uh, silence. Initial frustration, but later, he used that frustration to get more and more closer to God closer to God. His relationship with God began to grow in that silence. Nine months he prepared for his speech. And you see in today's gospel passage, the first time when he was allowed to speak, a praise come out of his mouth. Not a curse, but a beautiful hymn of Benedictus. Every day, in morning prayer, we use this. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. And God has helped us and he, he, he will set his people free. All salvation history is recalling. Maybe when we spend time in silence too, we may get more and more closer to God and we may be able to encourage people through our words and deeds like Zechariah. And tomorrow, we will be celebrating the Christmas, the incarnation story. God became one of us, Emmanuel. God is with us. Christmas is all about God gave and people of God give. God gave only his son to save us all. And we are asked to give and give and give. That is Christmas. And God bless us. Amen.